Having become one of the most hated officials in Mason County, Port of Shelton Commissioner Jay Huff appeared with his lawyer, Mr. Myers, to defend against a recall petition to remove him from office for malfeasance and misfeasance. Because both Judge Tony Sheldon and Amber Finley were affidavited by the parties, Judge Pomeroy from Thurston County was assigned to the case. The course of the hearing, including recitations of the allegations and arguments, took approximately one hour and 45 minutes with one recess. Local residents, having become outraged with both their port and county commissioners for their arrogant, insulting behavior toward voters and the critical matters of the community's health, families, children, air and water quality, environment, and future, a Dodge LLC and Simpson Timber Company have come to embody a hostile takeover of Mason County in the residents' minds. Those politicians who have aligned themselves with these rapacious corporations are the object of citizen contempt along with desperate efforts to remove them from office motivated by self-defense and preservation. The recall petition itself was an ad hoc affair thrown together by residents willing to do whatever it takes to protect their families and children in the face of wealthy corporate opponents controlling vast sums of money, as well as big name politicians such as Tim Sheldon, Governor Gregoire, Lieutenant Governor Brad Owens, Norm Dix, and Senator Patty Murray. These officials, elected by the public in the belief they would protect citizen interests, have betrayed residents for the money and legal fiction that burning Northwest forests benefits the environment. The community's hopes and passions were riding high, depending on the success of this hearing, removing one of the major threats to Mason County residents. Although the attorneys and visiting judge during the course of the hearing admitted knowing nothing of the underlying merits that gave rise to such passions, residents were well aware of the dioxins, pollutants, poisons, infrastructure burdens, costs, and destruction of their quality of life at the center of this controversy. Mr. Hupp became the focus of their ire when he repeatedly admonished them their welfare and the health of their children was none of his official concern. His high-handed methods and resolute disregard of his public mandate has isolated him from neighbors and constituents. Commissioner J. Hupp has become and acts like a man under siege. At 74 years of age, his legacy is likely to be the man residents loved to hate. An online 2006 YouTube video reveals Mr. Hupp bragging about how he and County Commissioner Tim Sheldon modified county height restriction ordinances to invite these rogue companies into the area, victimizing area residents in the process of greasing the skids for their corporate pals. Mr. Hupp appears confident the money and his influential connections will shield him from accountability. Confidence, it seems, but may be well-founded. Take note of the legal arguments raised in this recall hearing as a blueprint to what is required for a successful effort to remove such dangerous elected officials from public office.